Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. SMIC, China's largest chip foundry, has been ranked among the top three in the world for two consecutive quarters, while Global Foundries, an American chip foundry, has fallen from the third to the fifth place in the world, showing that the U.S.'s approach has led to a continuous decline in U.S. chips, which has directly put American chip foundries at a disadvantage in the competition with Asian companies. Before Q4 2023, SMIC ranked fifth in the world for a long time, and ahead of it were TSMC, Samsung, Global Foundries, UMC, and other companies. In addition, Global Foundries had been ahead of UMC for a long time. Among the top five chip foundries, only Global Foundries is a U.S. chip foundry, and the other four are Asian chip foundries. However, since the first quarter of this year, SMIC's revenue has soared, surpassing Global Foundries and UMC to become the world's third largest chip foundry. In contrast, Global Foundries' decline rate is higher than UMC, causing Global Foundries to fall directly from the third to the fifth place and the gap between global foundries and Asian chip foundries is widening. In the first quarter of this year, SMIC's revenue was $60 million and $200 million more than UMC and global foundries, respectively. In the second quarter of this year, it increased to $150 million and $270 million, respectively. SMIC's position as the world's third largest foundry company has become more solid. The reason for the major changes in the global chip foundry market is the rise of Chinese chips. In recent years, due to well-known reasons, the Chinese chip industry has worked together to vigorously develop the chip industry, and chip manufacturing and chip design have gone hand in hand, striving to make breakthroughs together and get rid of dependence on overseas chips, which has led to the rapid growth of China's chip foundry. A few years ago, because it was difficult for the Chinese chip industry to obtain advanced chip equipment, such as EUV lithography machines, the Chinese chip industry decided to develop mature chips first. In just a few years, China has built dozens of chip factories. Now there are more than a dozen chip factories under construction in China. China's chip production capacity has also soared from less than 10% of the world's share to nearly 30%. In addition to chip manufacturing, China is also actively developing chip design. In the past few years, China has broken the blank in analog chips, 5G radio frequency chips, storage chips, etc. In the past two years, AI chips have been booming, and several AI chip companies have emerged in China, and most of these chip companies have given orders to domestic chip foundries. Although the Chinese chip industry decided to develop mature processes at the beginning, relying on the available DUV lithography machines, China is still actively developing advanced processes. 
The 14 nanometer process has been mass produced. The industry generally believes that Chinese chip manufacturing can mass produce 7 nanometer processes, while UMC and Global Foundries have both stopped at 14 nanometer processes. In this way, the Chinese chip industry has surpassed the American chip company Global Foundries in advanced processes, which has also promoted the development of domestic chip foundries. In addition to replacing imported chips in China, Chinese chips are also actively moving into overseas markets, even into the U.S. market. U.S. home appliance manufacturers believe that Chinese home appliance chips have reached the level of U.S. chips, but the price is much cheaper. Therefore, U.S. home appliance manufacturers actively adopt Chinese chips, resulting in high inventory of U.S. analog chips, etc. In this way, these U.S. chip companies can only reduce their orders to global foundries. As a result, the revenue of U.S. chip foundry global foundries naturally continues to decline, and the gap with Chinese chip foundries widens. Today, the rapid development of China's chip industry has not only pushed SMIC to the top three global chip foundries, but also brought two other chip foundries into the top ten global chip foundries. Hefe's Jingha Integrated, which mainly develops mature processes above 55 nanometers, also ranked among the top 10 for the first time two years ago. It can be seen that the huge scale of China's chip market has driven the rapid growth of China's chip foundry industry, and it has continuously seized the global market, which will bring more and more impacts to the global chip foundry market. In short, SMIC has surpassed Global Foundries to become the world's third largest chip foundry. The rise of China's chip industry has driven the growth of foundry. The competition in chip foundry between China and the United States is unbalanced. Chinese chips are actively expanding overseas while American chip foundry is in decline.